Tennis baseball. It's probably the biggest sport that America has never heard about. And what makes it so great? Well, let's watch a montage of people hitting balls outside of a fence to show you. So, what is tennis baseball? Well, honestly, I have no idea. It's something about, you know, mixing the whole tennis and baseball idea, in case you didn't catch that when we announced the title. So, like, why do people play it so often? Well, there's only, like, ten people who play it. Ten, like, people who play it all the time. And they love it. And I'll tell you why. Alright, so the simple rules behind tennis baseball are there are fielders and hitters, about ten people on each team, and about six to nine innings. And it's basically like regular baseball, only a few differences, you see. Um, when somebody hits the ball, they have to hit it into the court, and if they don't hit it into the court, it's a strike. Three strikes equals an out, or if somebody catches the ball uh, before it hits the court, or they catch it on one bounce, then it is also an out. If they slam it and no one touches it, then that's a home run. And if they slam it and someone touches it, but they still don't catch it, then that's a single. Those are the basic rules of Tennis Baseball. For more, go to TennisBaseball.com yes, to see more on how that whole thing works. How did Tennis Baseball start? Well, honestly, there's really no way to tell. It's been done all different ways, all across the state, all across California. Well, this isn't really California. California is a couple miles away, uh, a couple thousand miles away, but that doesn't matter. The thing is that tennis baseball really doesn't have an origin. Um, it's been passed down for generations since about 1965. And, well, you know, that's not really the origin because that's when they first, you know, well, you know, shut up. Anyways, so they have the history like that. And, well, if so many different tennis camps make tennis baseball in their own different ways, what makes Twin Oaks tennis baseball so different? There are many, many things that make tennis baseball at Twin Oaks the absolute most awesome Twin Oaks tennis baseball thing that you could ever do. In fact, some people just cry when they hear this. So, uh, the one thing, the killer point for tennis baseball at this thing is that you actually can hit the ball outside of the court and score four runs. Yes, yes, it doesn't teach you anything about tennis at all. You just hit the ball as hard as you can outside of the court and try and score four runs once an inning. And that is the thing that makes Twin Oaks Tennis Baseball more competitive, more awesome, and pretty much the best sport ever played at Twin Oaks. Only at Twin Oaks. Nowhere else. If they steal it, tell us and we'll sue them. Naturally, a good sport would have great players, great records, everything. And I can tell you that Tennis Baseball does have that. We have MVPs, Hall of Fames, everyday MVP, Hall of Fame, we're thinking every four years, maybe every year. Still wondering about that, but uh, we have a bunch of great players. We have John, who can hit stuff. Um, Charlie, who complains, and uh, Rohan, who talks and says and whines. He, he does, he's really good at that. So, not only does tennis baseball have a great structure, but the select few who do play it are very uh, cooperative people, and it's a lot of fun to play with them. And they could very well be professional tennis baseball players if it were to ever become a professional sport, which it will one day because it's that good of a sport, I can guarantee you. Okay, so by now I'm sure I got you really, really excited to play tennis baseball, and you can't wait to get out your rackets, go to the nearest court, and play. So, alright, so here's what you need to actually start your own game in your backyard, well, if you have a tennis court in your backyard. If you don't, you need to go to the nearest tennis court. Gather around, I'd say, maybe eight people uh, for three or four, four in each team. And just go to the nearest tennis court and you can play. You can have one person be the pitcher on each team. And you could set your own boundaries for where you should go for it, like the two poles of the fence on the other side and see if they can hit it over. Um, as you can see, tennis baseball is a very compatible sport. All you really need are a bucket of tennis balls, um, a ra you know, a few rackets for each team, uh, some dedicated players, and a tennis court. Now the tennis court might be a little hard to get, and if you're playing that in public in a very crowded pit space and you're hitting balls uh, towards where people are sitting, I really wouldn't suggest playing there. But if you can find a nice empty tennis court, then that's a good place to play. 
Okay, well, you know, they don't really have an establishment all for tennis baseball, so Twin Oaks does a lot of other stuff. And while I'm talking about them so much, I might as well praise them for what they do. We have, uh, The main place for tennis baseball each year is at the summer camp, and we have a lot of fun doing it. We do it about once a day. In between, we also do games such as Attack and Defend around the world, and we do matches, uh, matches from 1 to 3 in the afternoon, and those are all a lot of fun. Now, everybody will tell you that the highlight of their day is tennis baseball because tennis baseball is so awesome. Tennis baseball is the one chance where all the people of all different skill levels on the court can get together and play one sport that they're all uh, generally good at because it doesn't really take much skill to play. Um, it's one of those things that's easy to, easy to play, uh, difficult to master. Now, um, there's a lot of fun behind it and we have a lot of fun at Twin Oaks but definitely the main the main idea of the whole thing is tennis baseball nobody says it but yeah you, when you're signing up for camp for a day you're basically signing up for tennis baseball that's all I have to say at Twin Oaks tennis baseball has been around for about let's say I don't know 2000 2000 I don't know I didn't come until 2003 or 2004 maybe and that was my time but a lot of old players have come back to the court and said that, you know, it's not the same anymore. And there are a few reasons why that classic tennis baseball is a little bit better than the newer ones. One, uh, Twin Oaks has gotten crowded. What, what can we say? Like, it's popular. Everybody loves tennis baseball. So now you've got about eight people on a team, which is a lot. And, you know, there's just too many people on the field at the time. You have to... You, in order to have a really good game, you really have to limit the n number of players on the field. So that way, it's not impossible. Like, you can just hit a ball on the court and um, somebody just catches it because there's just somebody everywhere. You need, like, uh, a few players scattered out. That's why it's good to have three or four players on each team. That way, it's a little harder. So when you have eight players on each team or maybe even ten players on each team, then it's a little harder. Also... You know, we have a lot of younger players, a lot of different skill levels, and, you know, um, everybody wants to go for it. That's another that's another issue. Like, uh, people are always fighting for it, going for it, you know. It's one of the coolest things that you can do. And they really, uh, tennis baseball as a sport really hasn't found a way to balance that out yet. But until they do, um, you know, we have a little f few problems with that. So, uh, tennis baseball is a fun sport, but it's not necessarily perfect. Like, I know I praised it a lot through this video, but it's not the best sport that you can possibly play. It's got a lot of problems, like all sports, and it's not perfectly balanced, but, you know, it's going to be one day. And that's what uh, this website's earned to work for, to get uh, this sport some publicity and to make sure everybody uh, knows about this awesome tennis baseball sport. Okay, so if you're listening by now, you're either deaf or you're really nice. And if you're really nice, thank you so much. If you're deaf, you can't hear me, so it doesn't matter. So, um, let's see. In conclusion about tennis baseball. It's a fun sport. It's uh, combining two of America's pastimes. And it's something the whole family can get together and do. Now, by visiting TennisBaseball.com, you can learn more about the sport as a whole. And just find out like how you can get arrange your own tennis baseball game. Um, you can also view samples from our own games. So that's tennis baseball in a nutshell. And uh, you know now you know a little about the sport. Why don't you get outside? You're pretty fat probably. No, I'm just kidding. So if you're, you know, it's a great way. Just go outside and play. Yeah, have fun.